Congratulations on the movie. It's Thank really you. quite funny. You. But you know, I was I'm here in Vegas last night and I was talking to a young woman and we were talking about the film. She said, you know, I've seen the trailers for that. It looks so funny. But what is it? So how would you describe to somebody asking you, what is Bad Grandpa? Well, in a, a short, short description, it's a, a prank movie with a loose narrative. And uh, a little bit uh, longer description. Um, it, it, you get all the outrageousness and pranks and stunts of a jackass film, but we attached a paper moon type narrative. <laughs> and I think you're going to be surprised at how invested you're, you'll, you're, you'll be in mine and uh, Billy's relationship in it. So, <laughs> how would you, if your friends ask you what is Bad Grandpa about, how, what do you tell them? How do you describe the movie? They haven't asked me that, but if they did, <laughs> it would probably be Lewis or Dominic, but. Um, <laughs> <laughs> they would probably ask, what is Bad Grandpa? And I would probably say, it's a movie that you should not see, and you'd probably like it. <laughs> <laughs> um, one of the, the things that astounds me watching it, and that I, I catch myself sometimes in the movie watching it, forgetting that it's you. I mean, that this whole transformation you go through to, be, to become Irving, what was that process like for you? About three hours uh, every morning, uh, and... Five hours if I had the chest and back on, but it, 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 yeah, and then I didn't do it anymore. But it ended up I, I dreaded it at first, but after a while it turned into a plus because I would just sit in the chair and think about what we're doing that day and write during every day. So it ended up really helping us. Now, when I was watching the movie, I sometimes forgot it was him because I just thought it was the bad grandpa. Did you sometimes forget that it wasn't actually Johnny, or were you always aware yeah, of that? When we're filming. Yeah. I don't forget, but I have to try to, because I have to remember I'm Billy and he's Irving. So when I'm filming, and if I forget he's Irving, I say, hey, Johnny, why don't we just do that in yellow? And then people will start <laughs> taking pictures. One of my favorite things about the film, and, and that you've done in a lot of other different things as well, is the the comedy and the humor and, and the Im impact of the movie isn't just with the gags and the stunts and stuff like that. Half of it is that, and that's where the laughs come from. But also there's this wonderful, delicious, unbearable social awkwardness that you guys create with, with the people around you that is just so fun to watch. When you, you guys are doing that, do you ever feel like, oh my gosh, these poor people? Or like, how do you feel about that when you're seeing the reactions you're creating with the people around you? Um, the only time I, if, uh, like in the estate cell when the, the bed malfunctioned on me, that lady was so scared. She was so nervous that we had to calm her down a little because you don't want someone to, you know. Which lady? The, the lady who did the adjustable bed at the estate oh. cell. She got really nervous. She almost had a heart attack. <laughs> I remember watching the film and just putting myself in their situation thinking, I, I don't know how would, I would react. When you're creating these scenes and when you're shooting the movie, do you have a reaction that you're hoping to get from people or are you just kind of sitting back almost like an observer and just waiting to see how it unfolds? Well, you want them to get involved. You want them to try to change Definitely the situation. Definitely like the penguin guy. What's that? <laughs> Definitely the penguin guy. Oh, yeah, he was a great reaction. And yeah, it's it just different. Uh, just you just want them to be involved and engaged and you want them to become a little emotional and then irrational and then they're hooked and you can go anywhere with them now i love the way you described what the film is and, and, and attaching the loose narrative as you call where did the idea for the film come like what what made you think that doing a full feature attaching a loose narrative to it how did that all come about to, to give us bad grandpa well the studio suggested it eight years ago and I didn't see it then but when we finally got around to talking about how we would do a whole movie with the bad grandpa character having a loose narrative specifically like Paper Moon was our best guess <laughs> you know <laughs> uh, so that's what we went with and it worked out it was tough because working the story and into the pranks and, and uh, just figuring it out as we went really and but I'm really proud of the film and really proud of this guy even though he just terrorizes me constantly <laughs>
Now, sometimes he was so good in the movie that sometimes I forgot that he was actually Johnny. You already said that. But when we're watching you, I sometimes, a lot of people, we all forgot that you're not actually his grandson. You were so good in this movie and making us forget that you're actually acting in the film. What was your favorite part about making this movie? One, two, three. Beauty Be pageant. Beauty pageant. <laughs> <laughs> How long did you have to practice to get ready for that? I think about two months each. Two months. Yeah, for the routine. Then I had to practice a couple weeks more with all the clothes on. Because whenever I tear it off, sometimes it would go down to my ankles. And then when I went like that, it would all hit me in the Getting face. Getting you caught in your wig. <laughs> there was a lot to it. And I mean, he just pulled it off amazingly. That's why I had to, like, throw it. Right. It was such a funny scene, and you were so good at it. Now, a lot of AMC audience members have been getting excited for this film. Put your salesman hat on for a second. Why are AMC audiences going to love going to see Bad Grandpa? Well, you you will get uh, all the outrageous pranks of a jackass film, but it really has a story to it. A story and a lot of heart in the story, and, and you're going to love the relationship between uh, Irving and Billy. And it's it's unlike a movie you've seen ever seen before. How would you describe it? How, why are people? Why do you think everybody's going to love this movie? Because all the pranks that people like to do, these are twice as good. <laughs> like Johnny gets his you know what stuck in a coke machine, and then he way to sell the film. King. <laughs> so he's like this, and then he falls back like that, and then a guy has to push him. Well, listen, guys, congratulations on the film. It's really funny. We can't wait to have it on AMC screens. Thank you. Thank you very much. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to AMC Movie News on YouTube. It's free and a great way to stay updated with all the latest movie news and check out our daily show, AMC Movie Talk. Also, don't forget to check us out on Facebook and Twitter to stay in the loop for our special prizes, giveaways, and contests.